Hello and welcome back again to a new episode of Dragon Age 2 in which I would like to start the next main plot mission on the loose. Um, so let's mark this as active. Uh, but before I go to uh, Knight Commander Meredith, I want to return home and do some enchanting. Also maybe I sell my junk. hardly ever comment on mages and templars and such. It's a lot of humans in skirts. <laughs> I get them mixed up. I highly doubt that. The subject comes up all the time. Tell me about it. And no opinion, one way or the other. Opinions are like testicles. <laughs> you kick them hard enough, doesn't matter how many you got. That's... something. That's probably the best comment that I've heard on the Mage Templar conflict so far. Thank you, Varric. <laughs> but yeah, um... Let me find a shop so I can sell my junk and then I will head back home for some enchanting. Uh, pretty sure I looked at this already. I'll give you my junk. And there isn't really anything else that I want at the moment. So let's just head to the next exit. And leave. And yeah, I have some mail apparently. And Varric! Varric, well, come to. Well, visit my dog apparently. Right behind you, Hawk. Right behind you, Hawk. You know, you play Diamondback better than my cousin Vidar. <laughs> you wag your tail whenever you have a good hand, though. I want to watch that. <laughs> So not only do my companions never visit me, but my dog, but now they're playing cards with him instead of me. Well, that is just awesome. Is it brilliant or horrible that you play Diamondback with my dog? All I'm saying is he'd be up more than two sovereigns if he watched his tells. <laughs> my Uncle Emmett has a whole pack of rat terriers who play every week. They're a cutthroat bunch. You've got a long way to go to be their quality. <laughs> <laughs> now don't take it bad. You're still better than Anders. <laughs> well, coming that's to the hangman later. Well, apparently, pretty much everyone likes my dog. Okay, yeah. Let me do some enchanting. I have one, no, two. Actually, this one is not in use. But I may enchant it anyway, so I have three empty weapon slots and one, two, two empty uh, armor slots, right? Yes, two empty armor slots. <laughs> Let me have a look at the runes. Um, critical chance. Yeah, let's just get to runes of impact. So this increases armor and this defense. Um, but I mean, this is more expensive and needs better ingredients. So I'm just going to assume that this is a better rune. <laughs> so let me take two of these and I think I needed one more maybe use let's use one rune of striking as well there we go so this is what I currently have um, yeah let's put the rune of impact in here this is what Evelyn is wearing What does this thing have? Armor attack. <gasps> yeah, let's just, I think, another rune of impact and I'll put the rune of striking into this one. And yeah, these are just both defense runes, so let's put them inside. Very nice. And 
Right, enchantment. And now let me have a look at my letter. From Charade. Dear Juno, I assume Gamlin's told you nothing about me. I ask after you every time I visit him, and all I get is, you've heard it all from the town cries. Dear old dad. <laughs> I hope this letter finds you well. I hear stories, but I can't tell what's true and what's exaggerated. Did you really fist fight the Canary leader? Well, almost. Are you actually sleeping with the captain of the city guard? Well, I wish, but I don't. Did you slay a dragon in Darktown? Um, no, not in Darktown. I, s I have killed some dragons, though. It can't be all true. <laughs> It is exciting to hear the stories and say, that's my cousin, write to me and tell, and tell me how you've been. I want news, I'll trade you incriminating gossip about your favorite uncle, yours truly charade. Oh, this is uh, nice, I have a cousin now. So, um, while I may lose more and more family members, at least I get a few new ones as well. <laughs> so, uh, let me put some stuff into my storage. Um... Yeah, sure. I think I'll keep this one. And I already got new stuff that I need to <laughs> put into put into my junk category. But okay, let's let's go and start um, the main plot mission. Yeah, Sebastian, let's let's try this again. <laughs> I mean. Main plot missions seem to be the best opportunity to get friendship or rivalry, you know, apart from companion missions. So I feel I should take him along and hope to get something from him. But to be honest, I have almost given up on getting anywhere with him. And maybe let's bring Evelyn and Anders and off to the gallows. Go ahead, yeah, already. say it. Say what? I saw you watching me. I was looking at the clouds. <laughs> Don't give me that. I know you've been <laughs> judging me. You think I'm out of control? How can I claim to speak for mages when I'm half demon myself? The one over there looks a bit like a bunny rabbit. Uh, Endos is being awfully defensive again. But yeah, let's go and see what the Knight Commander wants from us. Oh, and I can level up Sebastian. Uh, yeah, you need some more cunning. And maybe... Oh, you actually have six attribute points. Ha have I been using you? Haven't I been using you enough in, the l in recent times? Apparently not. Uh, let's give him evade. And... Less threat generation. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, this is actually a new place. Hmm. So, this is where the Templars live. The Knight Commander is grateful for your support, Champion. Uh huh. I don't know where, where she got that idea, but. Okay, um, this is where I need to go. Let's, let's have a quick look around before we do that. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't go. can't go anywhere else. Nope. Everything is locked. Only this door is open to me. Hmm. Yeah, let me, let me have a look around before I... Oh, he's, he's here as well. This is a difficult time for Kirkwall. Um, yeah. Well, that is one big book over there. Um, is there anything we can explore here? Yeah, we can loot some sex, very nice. <laughs> oh, uh, let me see. I, I gave you more cunning. Ah, okay. Um... I don't know. I think you can keep can keep the bow that you have. Hmm. Elsa. The Knight Commander wishes to speak to you. Oh, she's a tranquil. All right. Anyway, apparently I can't do anything else here, so let's go and speak to Meredith. Champion. Welcome. 
Well, nice to see you. Always a pleasure. And may I say, that outfit was a wise choice. <laughs> uh. There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. Um... Why me? But sure, tell me about this incident. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy <laughs> for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. Yeah, um, why are you coming to me with it? Isn't this like the Templar's job? Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars <laughs> all suddenly disappeared? The apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars. But you are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, Champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. <laughs> Uh, sure, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll have a look for you. I'll see what I can do. I am relieved. I was expecting resistance after that debacle <laughs> at the market. Talk to these mages' families. Learn where they are hiding and find them before they do harm. You will see that imprisonment or death is sometimes the only kindness we can offer. <laughs> Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Um, all right. Let's talk to Elsa. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? She flaunts what she can do to mages. She likes to rub our faces in it. The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. All right, um, so are we suspecting blood magic here? Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates <laughs> practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. <laughs> well, that's convenient. All right, uh, tell me about Huon. I want to hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. All right, uh, then tell me about Emil. Tell me what you know about Emil. The second apostate is Emil de Lancey, fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. Mm. Out of Hightown. Some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings authoring complaints. <laughs> uh, have they been questioned already? What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emil since he was a child. All right, tell me more about them. What do you know about the Delancey's? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Emil was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. Um, all right, uh, tell me about Evelina. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. So, she's from Ferelden? How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the first Enchanter on her arrival, and asked to take her place here. That doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? 
Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent blight survivors. Did the Templars run into her in Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. All right, so I think I've heard enough. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall. Hmm. Okay, so I need to find these three apostates. Talk to Comte de Lancet's family about the missing mage, Emily de Lance Emile de Lancet. They can be found in the High Town home at night. Locate Evelina in Darktown. Speak to Huon's wife, Nissa, in the Low Town alienages. Alright, uh, I guess we're doing a Templar's job now. And find us some apostates. Uh, okay, this is where we can leave. And are you loyal, Prince? Guard Captain? To Kirk. <coughs> are you loyal? You're set on a title in Starkhaven, but we're having a crisis here. This isn't just a Kirkwall concern. If this chaos spreads, Starkhaven will need a strong ruler to beat back the tide. I've seen greater men than you use that excuse. <laughs> Noted and ignored, <laughs> Captain. Yeah, Evelyn is highly, highly suspicious of Sebastian. I think she doesn't like him at all. <laughs> That's interesting. All right. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter in which order we uh, talk to these people. Maybe let's start in Lowtown. Uh, we need to go to the alienage. I have to admit, Anders. Of the mages I know, you're the one I expected to go out in a blaze. The day is young. <laughs> it was a compliment, you ass. No, it wasn't. Oh, Anders, why are you so rude? Um. Okay, alienage. Ah, Anissa, all right. She's the one we need to talk to. Oh, greetings, Monsieur. My mistress is away seeing to a customer, but she will be back shortly. I can take your measurements if you wish to have a dress made. <laughs> can you make ruffles? I'll only wear dresses that are absolutely festooned with ruffles. <laughs> Perhaps it is best if you wait for my mistress. <laughs> All right, but I'm not actually here for that. I'm here to speak to Huon's wife. Are you she? I... I am his wife. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. All right. Um, how has he changed? How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. He frightened me. So is he a blood mage? Did you see him use any magic? Perhaps blood magic? Would she know it to see mm -hmm. it? I... I don't know. I don't think he used magic on me. So are you all right? Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. Yeah, ten years is a long time. So you hadn't seen him since he left you? Huon didn't leave me. He was taken away. When the Templars found out he was a mage, they chained him and dragged him from the alienage, in front of everyone. Now I'm trapped in this, this sham. Married, but with no husband and no future. Hmm. Yeah, where is he now? Do you know where Huon went after you sent him away? I don't know. He disappeared. But... but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. A user, just looking for another handout. <laughs> I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, sir. Well, yeah, I could protect you. Would it help if I returned? I'll make sure you're safe. 
I would be grateful. Huan said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Maybe the Circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. Hmm. Alright, so, um... Return to Lord on Alienage at night to confront who on the Elven Mage. Uh, yeah, maybe we can <laughs> sleep at Meryl's house. <laughs> yeah, and now we can exit again at night, right? Alright, very good. <laughs> Alright, she's here already. Uh oh. Huan. That's no good. <laughs> Hush, love. Don't be afraid. Your blood will bring new <laughs> life to our people. <sighs> oh no. So much for I'll be protecting you. <laughs> she was so beautiful. Ah, not again. Someday I'd like to go one week yes. without meeting an insane <laughs> mage. Just one week. I'm a visionary. I've seen our destiny. I know what fate holds for the elves. The humans keep us down, because they're afraid of the magic within us. Look at the magic Nisa held inside her. She was just afraid to use it. What is it with elves <laughs> and blood magic? Alright. Um. Oh. I guess... She's dead though, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's let's kill this guy. I'll try to silence him. Well, that didn't work. So I think I need to stop him from using whatever he's trying to use here. Um, where, where did he go? Oh, he's over there now. Alright. Uh, let me summon my dog. And I will continue with him. Um... Let me try to cleanse this. Alright. Well, once I actually managed to attack him, he's not that strong. Uh, maybe you can... give me some fire? And I'm almost I'm almost done with this guy. Get back. Yep, he's dead. And now we need to take care of his shape. That Go one is dead. You are not enough. To score one for our heroes. And Well, this is done. Who one was killed? Alright. <laughs> Fell poison and Ooh, boots of the champion. I'll take them. And yeah, I'll totally use them. Um I have the gauntlet of the champion and the boots of the champion. So maybe I can find the rest of the armor as well. Okay, so we have dealt with one of the apostates. Uh Maybe we can look at Evelina next. Um, actually, let me go to Meryl's house and <laughs> then jump into Darktown right away. Yep. And apparently it's right over here. Alright. Walter. Hey, don't want. We got nothing away. here you'd want. Get back to Hightown and leave us alone. Um. 
Yeah, I was not expecting this. You're a little young for a blood mate. <laughs> And I thought Evelina was a girl's name. I'm not Evelina. I'm Walter. Her. Evelina was our friend. She was our mother. Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came. When our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. <laughs> but when she went to join the Circle here, they called her apostate. For leaving the Tower and for Elden. They locked her up. Alright. So... Apparently you're from Ferelden, right? You came from Ferelden? Yes, until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. <laughs> what about your parents? Don't you have any other family? Everyone died in the blight. Evelina kept picking us up, new children every day, everyone she could save. Ah, uh, does anyone know about you? Do the Templars know you're here? I don't care. They only want Evelina. Yeah, of course. Then why did she go to the Circle? Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the Circle would help her, but they just locked her away. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what What was she expecting? <sighs> what was she expecting? <laughs> Welcome, here's a bag of gold for your urchins. <laughs> Do you think we deserve to live like this? No. Evelina just wanted to give us the lives we would have had at home. But when she came back to us... The Templars followed her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. Oh. It wasn't her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. <laughs> She's in the sewers, child. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We... we <laughs> have to hide. Cricket! Oh, no. That's... that's... Not good. Um, <laughs> so I got some rivalry from you again. But yeah, <laughs> after all the friendship that I got l last time, I'm not sure if this is going to help anything. Anyway, let's have a look what's going on here. Apparently, oh, they went, they went into the sewers. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, I need, I need to look around here. Apparently. And, oh, here we go, um, yeah, Rage Demon, Rage Demon needs ice, here we go, um, Anders, you need to cast your Cone of Cold, please, thank you. Why are you not casting a Cone of Cold for me? <laughs> Please do this. Anders! Don't, don't, Anders, don't be difficult now. <laughs> um, maybe I should try to aim somewhere else, like so. Okay, that actually worked now. That was weird. But, but, uh, now we can deal with these guys. Anders should maybe go somewhere else, and you can use Guardian Angel. And I will continue the Rage Demon. Oh uh, no, I want to continue the Rage Demon, please. And second wind time. Okay, I mean the Rage Demon is almost dead. And now he just disappeared. All right. And there we go again. <laughs> All right. Let's pick up the loot. And continue. Oh, uh, <laughs> quickly! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no, oh no, there's more. Oh, uh, oh. Another rage demon. Anders, can, can you come and help me with this? Okay, let's try this again. Okay, thank you. Um, 
just just make sure you're not standing in the fire like like you Sebastian <laughs> I wonder if I can oh he's standing on the pressure plate okay let me try to kill the rage demon so we can stop the fire yeah I think it's the rage demon that's causing this Um, no, it's still, it's still going on. Well, we need to deal with this anyway. Uh, just, just make sure you're away from, from the fire. Ugh, let me summon my dog, okay. Rage Demon has come back. Guess we can kill it first. And as you can give me some fire for all these shades. And I will give them a holy smite. Okay, let me let me start with the less stronger ones. And as maybe you can give me a heal. Alright, let's continue with this one. Oh, somebody! Oh, the Rage Demon is back here. Alright. Um, oh, this is a new one, actually. Alright, I, I see. Um, yeah, let's use some fire. Sebastian. Uh, use Guardian Angel, please. And... Okay, he has disappeared again. And... <gasps> reappeared! Um, hang on a second. The shades are all dead? Okay. Maybe we can paralyze the rage demon. Alright, and dead. Okay. Let's put up, pick up the loot. Yeah. <laughs> I see how this works. Um <laughs> I think I think you need to get away from the pressure plate. Looks like a trip line. Watch for traps. Oh, Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, please disarm this. Thank you. You've actually been useful. Very good, Sebastian. <laughs> okay, uh, let me have a quick save. I think we are getting towards the end here, can you? No. Alright, here they are. What are you doing here? I, I thought if we warned her about you, she, she wouldn't be angry. But then she... Walter! Mm -hmm. She's coming! Run! Yeah, I think you better get, get away there from here. There you are. Don't run from me, Walter. You know those are the rules. <laughs> I don't like your rules. Funny. In my house, we always felt running away from violent mad women was a good thing. <laughs> These are my children. You and your kind abandoned them. You're Ferelden. Like us. That you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. Mm -hmm. I spit on you, traitor. And on the Pathetic Templars that sent you. Turquoise should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. <sighs> Why? Why is this necessary, Evelina? Okay. Um. Let me try to silence her or whatever she turned into. And. Um. Yeah, Sebastian can use Guardian Angel again. And maybe you can put a glyph beneath them. Oh, and, and suddenly suddenly she's a rage demon. Interesting. Um, well, if she's a rage demon now, I guess we can use some ice on her. <laughs> there we go. 
Um, and now she's a desire demon, alright. Let me try to cleanse you, or whatever you're doing here. Well, this didn't really work. Uh, oh, more shades, but she's almost dead, so let me try to kill her first. Um, Anders, I think you can give us some fire now. And she's back being an abomination, alright. Okay, we killed her, and now we have to deal with all the shades that she summoned. Let's do this. Uh, I don't understand. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? Well, that wasn't really Evelina. Evelina would never hurt you, child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... I'll try. Pray for her soul, child. The Maker may have mercy, even no. now. This isn't going to stop. The Templars force our hand. They make us take drastic measures just to be free. Like Evelina did. Exactly. I just don't know what we'll do now. Well, I could, I could give you some coin. I have enough of that. Take this, and use it wisely. Thank you, Messer. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. <laughs> and I get friendship from him. Oh, Sebastian, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Alright, um... Why is this quest never selected when I click on, on the link? So we killed you and we killed Evelina, so now we need to find the last uh, apostate. But uh, the episode is long enough, so I'm going to end it here and we will continue this quest in the next episode. Let me pick up this. <laughs> That's funny, I basically just get five sovereigns, which is the exact same amount that I gave um, the children. So, <laughs> I'm even again. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to end the episode here and in the next episode we will uh, look for the r last mage. And after that, I don't know, I may do another personal quest or something like that. Anyway, thank you again for watching and see you in the next episode.